Monaran Island is a beautiful nature park and one of the phenomena of the Russian Far East, being the only island nature park in the country. Monaran is often described as mysterious and for good reason. Its area is about 30 square kilometers, so it is barely visible on maps. Its length is only 7 kilometers, and its width is even less, 4 kilometers. However, Monoran is the largest island in the Strait of Tartari, which separates mainland Eurasia and Sahalin Island. Monoran lost its land connection to Sahalin more than a million and a half years ago, and now there is a 56 kilometer stretch of sea between them. In good weather, the passage from the port of Nivelsk to Monoran takes about three hours. We start our tour of the island from Chuprov Bay. It is not only the gateway to Monoran, but also its most famous place. It is the site of the only tourist center where all visitors to the nature park stay. The tourist trail passes through its entire premises and climbs to one of the most mysterious monuments of the past. The Sanctuary, which may date back to the time of the Ainu exploration of the land. There are other hiking trails spreading around the island, south towards a lighthouse and north through an old Japanese village and a grove of relict fir trees to Kalagiris Bay. However, the trails are so overgrown with trees and bamboos that you have to feel your way along them, especially in the summer when the grasses are as tall as a man. Geologically speaking, Monoran is a relatively recently extinct volcano whose life still lingers in its heart, periodically shaking the earth. The most serious changes in the landforms occurred after a powerful earthquake in 1971 called the Monoran Earthquake. At the beginning of the 20th century, the island came under Japanese jurisdiction and began to be actively inhabited. A weather station was built in 1910, which is still in operation today, and an underwater telegraph cable was laid from Sakhalin. In 1914, a lighthouse was erected which has not only survived, but is actively used. Near Kalagiris Bay, rice fields were cultivated and an irrigation system was built. We are now flying over the remains of the rice terraces.
After World War II, Monoran became part of the USSR's Sakhalin region. A Saner fleet base and a fish factory were established here, but gradually fishing became unprofitable and people began to leave the island. For the last three decades, Monoran Island has only been used to support navigation in the Strait of Tartari and to collect meteorological data. Nature here is very diverse. Emerald hills and mountains, alpine meadows and waterfalls. There are ring seals, larga seals and stellar sea lions that frolic in the bright turquoise waters here. And the southeastern coast is home to the largest seashore colony of birds. Monoran lies in the path of a narrow stream of the warm Tsushima current coming from the south from the subtropical zone while the rest of the Sakhalin region is exposed only to cold currents. In the summer, the temperature of the crystal clear water near the island reaches 22 Celsius and in the bays and coves it can be as high as 25 Celsius. There are several picturesque grottos on the island. They are surrounded by many legends. According to one of the most popular legends, during World War II, miniature submarines whose base was hidden somewhere deep in the island went to sea through a grotto. Another myth is that it was the site of a combat swimming school. None of these stories has been confirmed. However, they have not been refuted by local Sakhalin historians either. Stellar sea lions, fur seals, larga seals, and other pinnipeds thrive on Monoran. Temporary rookeries can be found practically all over the island. Stellar sea lions are the most common. In the summer, there are at least 200 of them. And in the winter, when the fish come closer to the shore, the number of these animals increases manifold. A new chapter in the island's history began in the late 80s, when the first divers found themselves on its shores by a twist of fate and, after dipping their masks into the water, experienced an emotional shock at the overwhelming beauty of the underwater world of this lost corner of the planet. The underwater scenery and the shallow waters of Monoran 
is every photographer's dream. The scattering of sea urchins and multi-pointed stars on the bottom, the draping of seaweed in the background, so many things to look at, it's hard to know where to start. And, of course, stellar sea lions and larga seals which have no fear of humans. All this makes Monoron a real paradise for divers. <laughs>